Makita First Captain, Chapter 10. Makita's eyes widened as she stood on the bed to look out the window to reveal that the sun was up and just as bright as her vision. She quickly sat back down in her bed as the sun mixed with her vision, causing her head to spin. She began to rub her eyes, trying to gain somewhat of her eyesight back. Yeah, there's a reason I kept this room as dark as possible. I knew what you went through last night wasn't something you just bounced back from. I repositioned myself in the chair to get more comfortable. Do you remember what happened last night? Makita was still rubbing her eyes before it clicked. Yes, it was pouring down rain. You took me outside and I shot electricity out of my eyes. Then I had a dream and if memory served me correctly, you were in it. I smiled back at her in a reassuring way. I don't know why I'm asking this, she rolled her eyes. But something tells me that you were actually in my dreams. Yeah, I shrugged my shoulders while nodding with a smile. Her face froze with fear and she slid back in the bed. How? She barked loudly. Makita relaxed. I gestured for her to calm down. All it was was magic. Magic? She looked around, genuinely scared for the first time. Yes, I entered your dream through magic, and I learned a lot about you. Makita raised her eyebrow in his direction. Hmm. Why don't you explain to me what it means to be first captain?